Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So last episode we were able to get our um, second lance up here. All outfitted, ready to go. They should be back within about 28 days. I know it's saying that it's 41, but it'll be about 28 days until they're back. But our main lance is ready to go. We're going to pull off a mission today. And I've already scouted one of them out here. So I'm thinking, originally I thought maybe we do cease and desist. It's relatively easy. It's a base destruction. But I think we'll get better salvage out of Stubborn Surrender. It's uh, basically taking on um, old mechs. So they should be damaged already. And it's pretty, it's the same, same salvage, a little bit less cash, but I think it's a better way to go. So we're going to negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage and accept. And we're going to go with our main lance here. So I've decided that we're going to put Raider in as the commander of the second lance. Uh, she didn't get much play throughout here. So she's going to be the commander of the second lance. Uh, Hogwi will probably be second in command and then Havoc and whoever else we hire will be third. So that's how we're going to go. But let's deploy this lance and get this done. All right, here we go. Move forward, clear them out. Pretty simple map. Uh, with this map, usually there's like two, three guys up here and there's one guy down here. So we're gonna push forward. Um, we're gonna stay on the right side here just so that the guy on the left can't get targets, targeting on us right away. We're gonna reserve first. Holding for tactical advantage. All right, Pylon, you're up. Good to go. Let's get in as far as we can get here. Somewhere in here, I think. So we got two bogeys on the hill and one down below. There might be another one back here, but it's unlikely. Looks like we're facing three mechs. So far, two mediums and an assault. Well, that's nice. Okay, recoil. I bet you the assault's the one down here in the valley. Yeah. Okay, let's get our guns in here as fast as we can. I want to use this ridge here for our heavier mechs just to kind of stay behind if we can. See what they do here. Yeah, they're not really moving in. So he's up here. Oh, we can get first line of sight. So let's do that. Let's see what we're up against. This guy's moving on turn three. Vindicator, triple A. He's the lighter version of the Vindicator, so he usually doesn't have a lot of armor to begin with, and it looks like he's got depleted armor as it is. So we're going to open up on him. We're going to fire everything. Let's just give him the first hello. Not a lot of damage, but enough to pepper him a little bit. And the assault. Looks like they've got maybe two assaults. Okay, a heavy and an assault. Okay, so we're going to reserve. Let's see what they do here. I want to try and pull this Vindicator off the map first, I think. Is that a five? Yeah, it could be like a Shadowhawk Vindicator, something like that. Okay, we want to try... And pull, like I said, pull the Shadowhawk off the field as soon as possible. Just so we're facing less mechs. So we're going to move Confirmed. the Jenner here. We're going to open up on this guy. Um, I'm going to push him back a turn. I don't want him going just yet. So we're going to try for this torso and just fire. The only reason why I'm trying for the torso is if we manage to get the torso, he'll lose his PPC. So he'll be rel relatively ineffectual. Okay, so cold metal. Can get into here. Pretty good chances to hit, so we're just going to move forward. We're going to blast him with everything again. Okay, looks like we've got that torso opened up now. Yep. Okay, cool. I don't think we'll be able to take it, but we're going to give it a shot here. Um, let's not get our light mechs in too early. Let's move into here. On the move. And we'll just fire on this guy, since that's all we can do. Come on, dude. You gotta hit better than that. So it doesn't look like this guy's going down anytime soon. Uh, let's get you into here. Copy that. Yeah, better chance to hit now than before. Still really ineffectual, though, but still. A couple hits. See what they do. So that's the heavy guy back there. 
All right, buddy, you want to move down and fight? We're good with that. Okay, really big misses on that Phoenix Hawk. It's going to cost him. And what's this guy up to? Atlas, oh god. Okay, so I think this ridge is giving us enough cover for direct line of sight. Pretty much. We're pretty much tucked down here. 7k. Two ER larges, Gauss rifle, LRM20. So we gotta take this guy down fast, and he's got lots of armor. Uh, let's get rid of this Vindicator. We're gonna back it up. So. So recoil, we're going to do an offensive push on this guy. So again, we're going to try for the torso and just fire. Oh, well, he got one hit. It was more than I thought he would get. Really, we just wanted to push him back. So we're going to move back here. Hopefully enough that that Atlas can't see us. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to see us back here. So that's what we're trying to do is just stay out of this guy's way. And Hickory here. Yep. Uh, we're going to move back. Probably to here, we got a direct line of sight. Just pull back to here. And we're going to dump everything straight into this guy. Okay, that looked like that was another torso hit. Which is good, because we need as many of those as we can get. No, that was an arm hit. Yeah. Okay, cold metal. Let's just back it up. I want to go too far. We're just going to back up to here. Going to dump everything on this guy. Okay, nice. PPC crit. Gyro crit. Super crits. 65 left in the CT, 33 in the torso. Uh, I was thinking about reserving pylon, but I don't think, oh, well, we're not going to be able to see this guy otherwise. So let's move it in. Really great chances to hit from here. Let's give them a target to shoot for. Pylon is generally super evasive. He's got five chevrons, so it's not bad up here. Let's hopefully, we hope we can finish this guy off. Fire everything. That was a torso hit there. Wow, what a bunch of splash damage that was. Wow, I hit, he didn't hit any place, to, look at this guy, didn't hit anywhere twice, seven, two, ah, that's an MRM pepper, I think. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, let's see what they do here. Yeah, he's going to come over here. Well, he's maneuvering himself in... Oh, nice shot. He's maneuvering himself in a position where we can all see him. And the more he fires, the faster he's going to heat up. He's overheating already. If he shuts down, he's dead meat. So he's headshot enjoyment, I think, that guy. So we're going to move over here. Uh, like this. We're going to target that Vindicator. Gonna fire everything. I want him gone. Okay, there's one torso. PPC destroyed. Head hit pilot injury. He's gone. Okay, perfect. Good salvage from that too. Uh now the question is what do we want to do here? Let's reserve recoil. This guy's slowly moving up. Uh, let's get Pylon going first, just simply because he's um, sort of the main target here. We could move around to see if we can find out what this guy is, and then move back next turn. So I think I'm going to do that. Understood. We're going to be super evasive, so I'm not really that worried. Rifleman 3N. Okay. Not that bad. If he hits with stuff, it could be bad. We're going to fire on the Atlas. He's a nice, slow-moving, juicy target, so let's start firing at him. 
Uh, cold metal. Is there any way we can get a better line of sight on them than this? Don't think so. Let's start this off. We're going to move back. Hoping that he goes after Pylon, but we're going to fire everything on him. Okay. And we're going to reserve recoil. Reserve an action. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's problems. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, I saw that. He's super overheating, too, though. Right here. Alright, recall. Sprint in. Okay. Full speed I know this is risky, but we gotta do this. Gonna sprint in, fire everything on the Atlas. God, you gotta hit with more than that, dude. Okay, you missed with the important stuff, which is good. That guy is toast now. Alright, recoil. Oh, can't attack that guy. Where's the best place to go here? Probably... Because there's a ridge, that rifleman, I don't know if he can get up over that ridge. <sighs> Let's do this. He's overheating too, so chances are he's not going to fire a lot. We're going to go for headshots on this guy. I'm trying to maximize salvage off him. Okay. Hickory. Do we even need to move here? 84. Ninety-two. So it's better if we just move into here. Understood. Gonna fire on the Atlas. Gonna go for a headshot. All these missiles. We should probably get one. No. Yeah, it's Vindicator. Crap. Reporting. Critical hit. Saw that, buddy. move into here. So Pylon needs to sprint out of there. Gonna go for a headshot again. Fire everything. Okay, Pylon. So that's his arm. It's critted. 27. He's actually got pretty good armor overall still. So we're gonna move back here like this. Gonna turn his right side. Gonna face the Atlas. I know he's inst unstable here. We don't really have enough to do a uh, um, vigilance on him. Going to fire on this guy. This is torso down to 99 internal. We're still going to go for the headshot. Firing a full salvo. Oh, still standing. Well, all he can do is power up, so... Now, is he still unstable? I think he is. Not really. Yeah. Okay, what recoil. Let's shoot this guy, please. Fire everything. I'm gonna give him the big and we'll move back to here. And Hickory. Yeah. Gonna come back to this side, I think. And we're going to dump everything on this guy again. Okay, I'm on it. It's time to pull a little bit of a switch. Centurion's going to move in now. Going to give this guy something to shoot for. Oh, you can see the Jenner from over there, eh? Alright. Come on, send me a real... Oh, don't say things like that. It's how you get killed. Staying in the tree, he's going to move into here. And we'll dump everything on this guy. Ok, 
Okay, LRM 20's gone. And pylon, let's just get up over... Let's sprint it. I want to get you back on this side because I want you to move against this... Uh, probably the Vindicator that guy is over here. So we're going to fire on this guy. And we'll fire everything. Wow. That was awful. Negative damage. Here comes that rifleman. Well, I didn't think you'd shoot on him. Well, it's the best chance to hit, I guess. If we can pull this atlas down next turn, we're pretty darn close anyway. Wow. Okay, I gotta give this guy the what for then. Huh. I would have thought for sure he would have fired the main stuff against the Centurion. Centurion's far more deadly at this point. Okay. Uh, 122 left in the CT. Still got tons of armor. Um, Hickory needs to bail from there. Let's get over here. She took a CT hit. I gotta worry about that, but we're gonna dump everything on the Atlas again. Okay, he's got no Goss ammo. I hope he doesn't. I think that was it for... No, he's still got Goss ammo somewhere. Um, and recoil. Gonna attack this guy first. Fire everything. We hit with the flamer? I think we did. We did. Nice. And let's get you running over this way. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. Here comes that Vindicator. Could be a Shadowhawk, but most likely it's a Vindicator. Okay, so Cold Metal's going to go first. And I am going to... What are we going to do here? There we go. Right here. I'm going to move right here, and I am going to give this Atlas a pasting. Let's do this. Bye. So, Pylon, we're going to do... Um, this is another Vindicator 1R. Do a vigilance on him. Confirm that. We're going to sprint up here. We're going to keep our side torso turned to him. Roger. Since we're damaged on the other side. And we're going to fire on this guy's side. Where his PPC is. Hopefully we can take this arm. So let's fire on him. him Not really, but... Oh, we got a head hit on him too though. That was looks like a lot of leg damage too. Rifleman, not too... Like I said, not too worried about the rifleman. They're very, very prone to overheating. So they can't maintain the stable fire. They can't throw down a, like a consistent firepower against us. Yep. So that's why I'm totally not worried about it. Uh, so we're going to move over here. We're going to turn our right side. We've got to keep our CT as hidden as possible, I think, because he did get our good CT hit on us with that PPC. I'm going to fire on this guy. All weapons fire. Eh, not a lot. Yes, command. Alright, uh, Pylon. Gonna move back here. Let's get, let's make this guy worry about his positioning here a little bit. I still want to fire on his side, so that's why I didn't sprint to his back. We're gonna fire again. Another leg hit, looks like it's open now. Yep. How much has he got left on his head? Not much. So, let's get recoil. What's up, Commander? Let's get up here. I want to turn more facing him because of this rifleman. I don't want to be too much sidey with that guy. And we're just going to fire everything straight out on him. Well, one hit. 
I'll accept it because, you know, it's not often we get a chance to do that. Get one hit with all those low chip percentage chances. Oh, melee, eh? Well, you want to play that game? We got a tougher game we can play. Damage, Commander. I don't know how tough the bat rifleman's back armor is, but it's not going to be that tough after we're done here. We only got three salvage out of this. So we're going to get good Vindicator salvage. And we might get Atlas or Rifleman. Okay, he's shut down. So we're going to try and leg this guy now, I think. Um, yeah. First of all, we want to get rid of... Or do we? I think, that Vindic I think our guy's over there. Okay over there with that Vindicator. So we're going to move over here. Going to go for leg shots on this guy. So we're going to go everything on this leg. Eh. Recoil. Can we get down to this side? We can get to the back. Um, damn. Well, we can always start on the other leg, though. Let's just move it over to here. We're gonna fire on this side. We're gonna take the other leg. Shoot everything on that leg. Looks like we got some good leg damage on him there. Let's have a look here in a second. See what this guy's gonna do. Oh. Okay, at least he missed the arm. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, I don't like the look of that though. Um twenty one left on that leg, sixty one left on this leg. So cold metal. Let's switch. Let's get you back here. And we're going to go for the leg and fire everything. All weapons are go. Reporting critical hit. Okay. We have to switch out here. That guy's only going to be able to start up next turn, so I'm not worried about that. But I am worried about this guy, so I want him to be looking at the uh, Centurion instead, so we're going to fire everything on him. Give him another target to shoot for. Okay, still need to move here, so we're going to walk Hickory in. Got it. So we've got okay offensive pushes here. 28 left in that one, 21 left in that one. So we're going to do an offensive push from this side to the leg. Copy that. Is that enough? Not enough. Yeah. Alright, recoil. Let's move back. Do an offensive push on this side for this leg. Fire everything. Come on, buddy. Ah. Okay, well, he's stressing out now. Yep. Okay, good. He's coming in for the Centurion. <laughs> Looked like a headshot. Nope. I guess I got those big arm bracer thingies on so you can't hit the head. Let's move in here. Just gonna target this guy from the side. We're gonna save our offensive pushes for later. Just fire everything. Okay, there's the left leg. Left torso, pilot injury, another pilot from the fall. Or another injury from the fall it is, panicking. So let's take advantage of this panic. Uh, we can take advantage next turn. Don't have to worry about it this turn. But this guy wants to play this game, we can play this game. Should be able to take that other leg next turn. Ah, respect buddy, good shot. Respect. Well, at least it didn't shut down. Okay, so recoil. Commander. Let's get over here. Saved our offensive push for this. We want to shoot this guy's leg and fire. Like 
both legs destroyed. Maxed out the rifleman salvage that we could possibly get anyway. Cool. So Hickory. Let's get uh, to where we can see this guy. Let's push him back a turn. Yeah, let's try for a headshot. Why not? Okay. Let's try and finish this up. What do we got left in the back here? Still a good chunk of back armor. So I'm going to move back slightly, I think, for better chances to hit. And we dump everything into this guy's backside. All right. And let's see if we can get Pylon to finish this up. Can we get a green here? Here we go. I got my wrong arm turned to this guy. I'm taking a big chance here. Uh, let's leave the small off. Fire the rest. Okay, there goes the PPC and the engine. Nice. Done. Okay, we took some solid damage on this one, but we were up against an Atlas, so... So overall, I'm relatively pleased with that mission. 156,000, which is nice. Probably 50,000 of that's going to go to repairs. Uh, I think we... Took, yeah, we took a medium laser crit here. Nothing on that guy, nothing on that guy, nothing on this guy. So we have to repair the medium laser. So I don't think we're going to have enough time to pull another mission off before the end of the month. But we'll see. So we've got four riflemen parts already. Let's hope we pick up some more on this rollout. But it looks like we got lots of Vindicator parts. So there's a chance we could get some Vindicator stuff here, which is great. Uh, let's go down. Um, we could go for uh, cores thinking we're going to have to since there's not much else here. So let's grab the two fusion cores. The case is a possibility. Um, we don't think we have a lot of case right now and I think if we're going to have missile loadouts we're definitely going to want to have some kicking around and maybe Gauss rifle is what 15 tons? Yeah. Um, let's go with the ER large laser for now. Going to go that route. Oh we can't right? We've only got three. So I think really the case is more important than the ER large right now. But we're going to go this route and see what we get. So, one Atlas part, one, two Rifleman parts. Nice. Two, three, four, five, six, six Vindicator parts. Excellent. And the Gauss Rifle. So, we picked up some major salvos here. 14 million Seabills. Excellent. Davian took Frankson from Tortuga. Really? Oh, my God. My other guys had just taken that back a little while ago. Now I gotta go flip it back again. Ah, okay. 50 grand in repairs, that's what I figured it was gonna be. So we made about 100,000, which is good. We got enough for our next, next financial report, I think. Yeah, just barely. So let's have a look at our repairs here and see what kind of time we're looking at. 12 days for the Phoenix Hawk. Let's move that up. So we've got enough time to pull off another mission before the end of the month. Should be able to get everything back before then. So let's just give it a quick whirl here. See what we got. Um, uh-oh. Stealing med supplies, eh? Sorry, buddy, but we're going to have to re re revork your uh, shore leave um, privileges and garnish your wages, bud. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, well. Not much we can really do about it. Gain 10,000 but lose a medical point for 30 days. Not a big... We're barely taking any pilot injuries, or injuries as it is, so... Alright, another five days. Excellent. Okay, so we, we should be back in action. These guys are a lot closer to being done, which is good too. Um, well, they will be anyway. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, let's do this first. Um, let's see here. Five... Yeah, we want the 16 to drop in next for 21. And then this will be 27. Unless we move 16 up and 15 up. That's not going to work. That'll be 20 and 28. So it was better the way it was. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Okay, so let's have a look at the barracks, see what kind of experience we've got. And then we'll call it for today. We've got enough money to make our next financial report. So cold metal, we've got a next next level gunnery skill, which is excellent. We're on our way to getting uh, um, Warlord here, which is going to be nice. So we're just going to confirm this. And Havoc, who we just hired, doesn't quite have enough yet. Standing 
Hickory, not quite enough. We're going to go for uh, more gunnery on her. Hogweed, still waiting. Just We just picked her up, so we're going to get have to get gunnery up a little bit more. Um, pylon, nothing yet. Dude, you got to stop stealing drugs from the medbay. You know what it is? Is this guy's in the front line so often he's getting starting to get shell shock, so he needs a little bit of drugs to keep himself going. Don't blame you, buddy. Or we're not gonna we're not gonna turf you. You're too valuable to us to turf. All right, so we're saving up here for gunnery on recoil, so we're gonna leave that as it is. So I think we're gonna call the episode here for today. And when we come back next time, I know we're gonna still trying to work hard at getting our next lance up and running. So we're gonna pull off one more mission on this planet, then we're gonna move to a new planet. And we're going to wait for our light lance to be up and running because I want to run those guys after the next episode. So until the next time, uh, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Also like my videos if you get if you like them. Feel free. And commenting too. If you can comment, that's great. Um, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, if you're interested in you know, seeing me change my builds or whatever, just throw in information down in the, uh, the uh, comment section below and we'll see what we can do. And until next time, we'll see you all later.